Hey guys, the Snack King is back. And today, I got another bag of snacks to try. So we're gonna be staying in the Asia region again. Asia region? Asia region, because I got Filipino snacks. I'll be honest, I know very little or close to nothing about the Philippines. Specifically, like just the country in general, but especially Philippine cuisine. I don't know a goddamn thing. So I have no idea what I'm getting into today. But just looking at rice crackers vegetable flavor, I think we're in for a fun time. So as always, I'll be trying all of these snacks. I'll tell you my thoughts and also give them a score of one to 10. Also, this is just my personal opinion. So if I give your favorite snack a really bad score. Get over it. <laughs> these looked quite interesting. So let's get started with some vegetable flavor rice crackers. They pretty much look like green Cheetos. Hold on a second. These are actually pretty good. I want to eat more. I won't because there's like at least 10 other snacks to try. Honestly, I wasn't expecting vegetable flavored rice crackers to be this delicious. <laughs> Sorry. These are like Honestly, an 8 out of 10. These were really good. I like these a lot. Next up, we've got some cheddar flavored multi-grain snacks. So these are like pretty standard multi-grain chips. They are cheddar flavored. So anything that's cheese flavored is usually pretty good. So if these are bad, then they must be pretty bad. All right, let me try. Dude. Nice. Zero gram trans fat, even better. All right, so this is just a personal thing. Um, <clears throat> cheese flavored snacks mm. are my fave, but these do taste quite nice. So I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10. Next up is picnic shoestring potatoes. Look, you can't go wrong with potatoes. This is what these bad boys look like. They're just like little, very thinly cut potatoes, snacks like this. Oh, okay. I've had something very similar to these before in Australia. They were called French fries. Honestly, a huge fan. I did really, really like them. All right, let me try. Oh, okay. This is where I come across a bit of an issue. Now it says on the packet, 50% less salt. I think they should have just went with 100% salt because they're pretty bland. Is this, is this mean? Nah, it's not mean. This is just my opinion. Right. You know what? I give these a five. Five is fair. Five is like right in the middle. They're not bad. They're not particularly good, but they are edible. Five out of 10. Next up, we got Moby Crunchy Chocolate Snacks. They are chocolate flavored corn snacks. I've had bad run-ins with corn snacks in the past, specifically the banana flavored puffy corn Korean snacks. Those were all time low light. Quite similar to the banana corn snacks, they're just puffed corn, but covered in a flavoring. Let's try. Like actually, honestly, they're okay. I mean, I have, okay, I've eaten three of them now, but that's just because I want to make sure the flavor was good or not. Very generic chocolate flavor, but they're all right. So I'm also gonna give these a five, not because they're like bad or anything, they're actually okay, but I feel like they're on par with the potato string snack. So five out of 10. All right, next up we have dried mango tamarind balls. Mango and tamarind are very popular flavors here in Thailand. So I feel like this is not gonna be a super fun flavor. Oh, they come in these cute little packs is what they look like. Hmm. Mm. I feel like this is one of those snacks where you either like them or you don't like them. I think tamarind is like quite a divisive flavor. You can't taste the mango at all. It's literally just tamarind flavor, but it's just nice to know there's a bit of extra mango, a bit of extra vitamin C in there, but nah, don't go in there expecting any mango flavoring. I'm gonna give these a six out of 10. Boy Bawang Cornic Garlic Flavor. It's garlic flavored dry corn. Ooh, that's garlic, and I am a fan. This, this is what they look like, but let's try. These are pretty damn nice. 
Honestly, they taste a lot like popcorn, but they're not soft like popcorn. I mean, obviously because it's made of corn, right? <laughs> Honestly, they're pretty fun to eat. And I feel like you could eat like a bunch of them really quickly. Like you just go like this, pour a couple. I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10. Next up we got pods, vegetarian pea snacks. I'm not a huge fan of peas. I like fresh peas, but once they start to get soft, and boy, I don't like them. This is what they look like. Nice green coloring. And they are vegetarian. So that's nice. All right. Honestly, they're actually all right. <laughs> I think I was expecting them to not taste that, that good. The pea taste is like there, but it's just a little bit of an aftertaste at the end. They don't really taste like peas. They just kind of taste like a regular junk food, crunchy kind of snack. They're okay, but they're nothing special. I give these a six. They're okay. Oh, no, 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 wait. If I give these a six, what about the potato things? Now they were bland. I will give these a six. Next up, we got potato fries. Now, when I was growing up in Australia, we did occasionally have ketchup flavored potato chips or tomato flavored potato chips. I was a huge fan, so hopefully this tastes something like those. These are big ones. Let's try. Hmm, they're actually okay, sorry. The first one I had was a little bit underwhelming, but these actually taste pretty good. I'm honestly surprised with these Filipino snacks. When I got them, I was a little bit worried because I thought I wasn't gonna like a lot of them. And I was worried everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, he hates Filipino snacks. Look, everyone should just live their life and have fun. I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10. I like these a lot, actually. These are quite nice. Next up, we got Goldilocks Sweet Delight. These are Filipino shortbread. There seem to be like a variety of flavors. We got uh, ube. What is this? Oh, cookies and cream. All right, I will not be trying all of the flavors because there's a little bit too many and that's a little bit too much shortbread for one man. But today I'll be going with coffee crumble flavored, uh, what is this? Pulveron? Pulveron. You guys know what shortbread looks like, right? Just in case you didn't, shortbread. Nice coffee smell. Hmm. It's actually pretty nice. Honestly, the flavor is really solid. I mean, it's got a nice crumminess to it. Look. Who am I, man? Am I talking about the crumminess of the shortbread? I'm not going to Rams or anything like that. It's a nice shortbread. I'm sure they all taste delicious. They got classic flavor ube crisp rice. Boy. Coffee crumble and cookies and cream. Nope. I give them a six out of 10 because there is a lot of flavors and I'm sure that there is a flavor for everyone out there. All right, I don't know exactly what I'm looking at. It says, uh, Mick Mick Sweetened Milk Powder. I don't understand, am I supposed to mix this with with water or do I just drink the powder? That's not right, you can't, you wouldn't just drink the powder, right? Are there instructions? Huh. All right, honestly, I think there's absolutely no way that they would get you to just drink straight powder because, you know, I'd cough and stuff like that. It just tastes like water. Okay, this is really embarrassing. I'm sure there's a lot of Filipino people watching being like, dude, what are you doing? I have no idea what the hell's going on. You know what? I'll just drink the powder. <coughs> this stuff actually tastes really good. <coughs> Let's just throw out the way you eat it out the door because I have honestly no idea what's going on. All I can rate this on is flavor and it tastes pretty damn good. I'm gonna give these a six and a half out of 10. Really solid. All right, so this is, I guess, choc mint. Now, I know chocolate mint can be a bit of a divisive flavor. Some people are like, oh my God, I can't believe you eat it. It tastes like toothpaste. I love chocolate mint. All right, here we go, baby first Filipino chocolate. Ooh, that's some strong mint. That's, ooh, dude, it's like, 
<laughs> in Thailand, people like to sniff on scented things in Thailand a lot. And this is like going straight up my nose. Hmm. They're pretty good. I give these a six and a half out of 10 as well. This is, this is really good. I enjoyed that a lot. That was nice. All right, so who got some more chocolate? from the same brand. This is yogurt infused white chocolate. I'm not the biggest white chocolate fan, but it does have strawberries in it, so it sounds nice. Hmm, that's honestly really nice. I will put that on par with the other one. So six and a half out of 10. Now, you know what? I'm giving both of them seven. They're both sevens. This and the other chocolate, they're sevens. These are nice chocolate. Philippines, you guys got some nice chocolate. I like it. These are just regular crackers, like crackers that you would have with like cheese or whatever. But these are flan flavored. I have never come across these kind of crackers in dessert form. Huh? Uh, no, those were not nice. I don't wanna say disgusting because that's very, very mean, but those were pretty nasty. It's kind of like, I f it was like a similar experience to the Korean potato chips, the like dessert flavored ones, cause it's salty. Like it still has salt on them. And then it has like this disgusting kind of custard, custard, like custard, vanilla, sweet flavor. It wasn't nice. It was honestly pretty bad. And guess what? It's my channel so I can say what I want. Um, I'm gonna give those like a three out of 10. Those are probably like the first bad snack I've had out of all the snacks today. All right, next up we got something called Marty's Cracklin'. There's salt and vinegar flavor, and salt and vinegar is one of my absolute favorite flavors of all time. I have extremely high expectation for these. So I thought it was like pork crackle, but looking at the back, I think it's made out of green peas. It's like a vegetarian alternative. Ooh, <coughs> ooh, well that vinegar went straight up my nose. That's what they look like. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. The salt and vinegar flavor is fine, but the actual flavor of whatever these are, vegetarian, chicharoon, old fashioned stuff. Nah, it's not for me. They're fine. And I can definitely imagine someone enjoying these a lot, but I'm still gonna give them a six out of 10. They're still pretty solid. All right, next up, we got some uh, whole, whole milk candy. Oh, they say milk powder candy. Why can't, but something's kind of fishy about that. Why do they got to call it? Oh, oh, I see. So these specifically say milk powder candy. And I was thinking to myself, why do you just call it milk? Why you got to call it milk powder? Um, these are not what I expected. I was expecting uh, a nice chewy milky snack. These are kind of tough, hard, milky tablets. They don't really have a smell, so I guess we'll just... Man, I was really hoping for a milk chew. All right, don't worry about it. I won't, you know what, no biases. I will head into this snack neutrally. Nah, those weren't nice. That being said, they weren't as bad as those weird like pudding flavored crackers. It's like a four, nah, it's like a 3.5 out of 10. Honestly, like the flavor was like whatever and they're hard and who wants to chew on like sandy milk? Nasty. We got another chocolate snack here. This is choc nut, peanut milk chocolate. Ooh, they come all cute and wrapped up like this. I do like the bite size. Ooh, <coughs> that's some strong peanut. Oh, it's. They're very light. Like usually, you know, chocolate is like kind of dark. Look how light these are. They're like a light brown. I think it's more nut than chocolate. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, so first of all, I wouldn't call that chocolate. It's not chocolate. It's like peanut marzipan. I'm not a huge peanut guy, but I can respect and appreciate a nice peanut flavor. Honestly, man, I don't really like that crumbly stuff. I, I like to chew. I don't like being tricked into thinking that it was chocolate. I don't like the deceitfulness. 
And you know what? Because of that deceitfulness, I will bring the score down. I'll give him a 5 out of 5. And, uh, but this potato snacks. I much prefer the potato snacks. But it wasn't okay peanut flavor. I'll give him a 4.5 out of 10. I feel like that's a fair score. 4.5. Next up, we got um some more chips. Roadhouse barbecue. Barbecue flavored chips. What could go wrong? Just looking at the color, they look delicious. Oh, they do not smell delicious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Let me show you guys something. Hold on. So this is what they look like on the bag. Look, I know this is an advertisement, so not everything has to look like. This is what it looks like on the bag. And this is what it looks like in real life. Big difference in color, much lighter. So I assume this, the flavor will not be that strong. Okay, honestly, <clears throat> they're not that good. Like, look how thin they are. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of like a regular chip, but these are kind of like wannabe chips and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure some people enjoy these, but um, a little bit too thin for me. Something about the thinness, they're not enjoyable to eat and the flavor is whatever. I'm gonna give these a four out, but I gave the, yeah. No, four out of 10, yes, yes. That is a correct score for these, four out of 10. All right, so we have some crunchy corn snacks, but look here, outrageously spicy and cheesy. I'm not good with spice. In general, if I know I'm eating something spicy, I will make sure I not have plans the next day for poo-poo runs. So if these are super spicy, it's gonna spoil like the rest of the snack. So that's why I had to save these to last. Also, I thought these would be the funniest. Okay, honestly, there's not much of a smell, but the color of these bad boys, oh my God. They look spicy. The color kind of reminds me of, what are those American snacks? Doritos, but they're like cylinders and they're like all red. Have had those before. Those were delicious, but yeah, they gave my stomach issues. So do be kind to me. Huh? I have a really weird feeling right now. They don't really taste spicy in my mouth, but I can feel my face getting hotter and sweat is starting to come out of my face, which is a sign of spiciness, but... They honestly just taste like cheese. Honestly, the cheese flavor isn't even that good. But I mean, the spiciness is kind of cool, but I thought it was gonna hit me and I was gonna be like, ha! That being said, I should stop eating them. Bit of an anti-climax, they're honestly like, whatever. Um, I'll give them like a five. I guess we learned a few things about uh, Filipino snacks. One, you guys really like your chips, crackers, corn, and potato-based snacks. You guys got so many different flavors, really cool. Different thicknesses of snacks as well. Um, you guys also really like sweet milk powdered flavor things, which is honestly pretty interesting. Having eaten all these snacks, I feel like I haven't, like I can't, I still can't put my finger on what is Filipino. You know what, it's actually kind of similar to when I had, so I have been to the Philippines before, but I was only there for like two, two days, two or three days, and I didn't really get a chance to like try a lot of Filipino food. But it was like a very interesting mix of like things that I was familiar with, but they were just like a little bit different to what I was, how do I explain this? I was eating things that I thought that I had eaten before. Well, I have eaten them before, but they were just a little bit different from what I've previously had. So that's why I feel like a lot of these snacks are, they're very familiar, but just slightly different. Uh, nothing was as bad as those like pudding flavored crackers. Those were honestly awful. But apart from those, everything was pretty nice. Like, and surprisingly the vegetable flavored stuff was really good. I honestly was like expecting to eat this and be like Bleh. So yeah, I want to say a very special thanks to Perth Nakun International for sending these Filipino snacks so I could make this video. Really appreciate it, guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video coming very soon. See ya!